grey and very kind. And just for a minute, I thought about my knife and I thought, what the, the bravest thing I ever did in my life, this is true, it's nothing but you, was when I was about 23, there was a girl at another school who I thought was very attractive. <laughs> so I went, I went up to her once, it's a true story, I went up to her once and I got a box of chocolates and I said, I can't believe I said this, but I said, I think you're really lovely, can I give you this box of chocolates? And she actually said, oh, that's good, it's my birthday, and that's absolutely lovely. Now, that was great, but it's nowhere near as great as what we've done. I also thought to myself, what's probably the kindest thing I've ever done? And I, had, I thought about it, and I thought it's probably when I probably uh, bought out my pocket money, probably a uh, birthday present for my mum and dad, which is kind. But it's not as kind as what you're doing today. It's not only great being very kind, because you're helping the hospital so much. Because as you know, Chidon was very poorly when he got embarrassed him, was very poorly when he was younger, and to be honest with you, um, he, but he could have easily died. So what happened was, he, he, he had to go to Bristol Children's Hospital, and basically, to cut a long story short, they saved his life. And he's thinking to himself, he has to think to his mum and dad, what can I do really for Bristol Children's Hospital to say thank you to them for all their hard work? And how can I help other people who need lots of looking after? And he thought, because he's, he's a very handsome chap, and because he's got lots of hair, he thought the best thing that he could probably do, or one of the best things to do, that would help raise money, would be to have all of his hair um, shaved off. And then he'd, he'd ask friends and family and people from Smeddock Junior School to raise some money. Well, as a result, we, we have raised a lot of money. Uh, maybe Mr. Miss Martin or someone might want to speak later, but I know as a school, the teachers, teach sisters, and you lot give lots of money. And I know as a school, we've raised about 180 pounds. So that's a, that's, a, that's, a really good, that's a really good start. So, and I know that your mum and everyone that has raised up money as well. So all together, it's, it's actually quite a bit. So really what we're doing, we've got, um, it's great to see so many family support here. We've, we've got, I know we've got our mum, dad, we've got friends and family. We've got big brother Ethan, who's now, how old do you know Ethan? 14. 14. And then we've got big brother, uh, big sister Summer. What Summer's brought in, Summer, they, they all used to go here. Summer's brought in a, an iPod with like a, a song. We're just going to keep going on repeat. Because it's nice, because it's a happy occasion, we're going to have a little bit of music on the background. We've got the West Britain as well, our reliable friends there, they're going to take some photos. So what I will say is look out um, over the next week or two in the newspaper, because you'll actually see this in the, in the newspaper. I'll move out the way. We've got a very special guest as well, which is uh, the family friend who's going to cut the hair. Because um, my mum and dad asked me if I'd cut the hair, but I, I haven't cut anyone's hair before, so it might be a disaster. So we've got a professional who comes to cut the hair. So, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 